Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to my surprise lunchtime live. Today is an exciting day. It's Thursday, September 15th, and Stampin' Up! has announced a 24-hour stamp sale. That's right, for one day only. Today, Stampin' Up! is discounting all of the annual catalog stamp sets 15% off. There's literally 135 stamp sets to choose from. It's incredible. I can't remember the last time so many stamp sets were on sale. This is so awesome. Well, I am trying to figure out what to show you tonight during Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. And so I thought I would jump on today at lunchtime and share some projects using the Lovely You stamp set. Um, I, as I'm looking over this list, this giant list, which by the way, I'll put the link in the video description when we're all done. I created this flyer with pictures to make it easier to see all of, um, the stamp sets that are on sale. So I'm looking over this list and I'm trying to figure out like what stamp sets would be good for new stampers, right? Like, um, it's, many of you have been stamping for a long time. <clears throat> and so, um, you know, you have quite a collection and the things that you look for in stamps maybe are a little bit different, but when I'm looking at a stamp set for a new stamper, I definitely think it should include sentiments and images, something that's really versatile that is like all in one where they can make some cards with one stamp set and a couple ink pads. And so this is one of the stamp sets that I thought of. The Lovely You stamp set has some really great versatile images and some sentiments in here that are really great. But I would love to know what is your, what, what, what stamp set would you recommend for a brand new stamper? So leave a comment and let me know um, whether it's current or a retired stamp set that you just love. Maybe what was the first stamp set you bought? Um, so I would love for you to, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> I would love for you to leave a comment and let me know. Hi everybody, definitely sentiments are a must have for new stampers. I'm so glad you guys are joining me. This is an unusual time for me. Usually I don't go live at um, at the lunch hour, um, but it is just such a, such a big day with so much going on that I feel like there's more that I wanna share than just what I'm able to share tonight during Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. So I will definitely be live again tonight. Be sure to check for that at 7, 10 p.m. But I'm so glad you guys are joining me. So leave me a comment and let me know what stamp set would you recommend for a brand new stamper or what stamp set did you start with? Tell me about the very first stamp set that you bought. I My first stamp set was called Happy Winter. It was a little stamp set. It had a snowman, a tree, some snow, and then a stamp that said Happy Winter. Literally like a $12 stamp set, four stamps. It was super small. Of course, it was right before Christmas, and so I had this idea that I would stamp my Christmas newsletters, you know, and stamp that, like, at the bottom. I wasn't, like, I wasn't totally into cards yet, but that was the first thing that I was thinking. Of course, I forgot to get ink when I bought that stamp set, so I didn't get a chance to stamp those Christmas newsletters. <laughs> oh, but uh, soon after that, I was just... I was just totally all in with stamping and building my collection with new stamp sets. So I'm trying to remember what the stamp set I bought after that was. There was one called like a greeting for all reasons or something like that. And it had images and um, words that just covered a lot of occasions. It was a really great all occasion stamp set. Anyway, we're going to make two lovely you cards today. This is a good one for new stampers because it does have sentiments and images. And I was inspired by a class plan that Stampin' Up! published probably a couple years ago now, but I still had it in my files. I recently started um, using a new computer. And so I'm, I'm like rediscovering files <laughs> as I'm transferring things around to my new machine. So I found this document and I love these clean and simple cards. So we're going to make these cards, although I thought it would be fun to do different colors. Not that, I mean, I like these colors, but <clears throat> I thought it might be fun to use some different colors. So the colors that I chose to use are two of the new in colors, Orchid Oasis and Parakeet Party, and then Polished Pink. Now these two, I call them junior and senior in colors. 
So the senior in colors are the ones that are on their second year in our color collection. And the junior in colors are the newer colors that just started. So these are junior in colors. These are new ones this year. And polished pink is a senior in color from a different group. And that means that it's going to be retiring um, and discontinued in the spring. So I really love this combination together. I just think it, it's got a really bright, fun energy to it. So we're going to use these colors and the lovely you. I'm following along on this class handout and I will include the link in the video description so that you can download and print the PDF. I'm using all the same measurements that are listed here and just changing up the colors a little bit. Well, whenever I make cards, I often make two at a time because when you're cutting your cardstock in half, you know, your full sheet of cardstock, when you're cutting it in half, you get two card bases. So I'm just going to make two of each. So actually, I'm going to make four cards, um, <laughs> but they're, they're going to be two of the same thing. So we're just going to double our stamping. Okay, so for the pieces on this card, we've got our card base that's five and a half by eight and a half. And then we've got some um, basic white cardstock. And these pieces are um, three and three quarter inches is by five. I'll put the measurements in the video description as well. Um, I've got two for each card, one for the inside, one for the outside. Then a piece of Parakeet Party that is, um, let's see, I think it's three quarter inch by three and three quarter inches. I'll just turn, yep, three, nope, hold on, where did it go? I should have used to post-it notes. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, three, three quarter by three and three quarter inches. And then originally it was talking about punching little tags, but I just have a little piece that's a half inch by two and a half inches of polished pink. Okay, so we're gonna do our stamping first. And this card has like some collage stamping. So I've chosen, like I said, the three colors. I'm gonna open them up here. I have a little flower that's gonna go on the pink. And of course, leaves are gonna be the parakeet party. And for the orchid oasis, this other little like medallion. I'm using exactly the stamps that um, are on this class plan flyer. I did bring in my small grid paper because I'm going to go over the edges of the cardstock. Whenever you're making your own designer paper or stamping a collage like this, you want to go over the edges of your cardstock to make it look like the pattern is just continuing on. I like to start with my largest image so that there's enough room, you know, to fit in the smaller ones. But if you start with the smaller ones, then Sometimes you don't leave enough space for the big one. So I'm starting with the big one. And whenever I'm stamping a collage pattern like this, I always create a triangle. So you can see I've got my three points here and then I just build one, two, and I create a third one there, one, two, and a third one here. And I'm kind of turning the stamp as I'm going as well, just to kind of mix up the image so it's not like, that doesn't look totally tiled. So kind of just turning that stamp and I want to really make sure I'm getting off those edges. Okay, so I just did my triangles across the cardstock and that helps me to evenly space all the images. So now I'm going to kind of fill in the empty spaces and again, sort of keeping that principle in mind of triangles or zigzagging my pattern, also making sure to go off the edges. Sometimes you end up with like a space where I probably could have done that a little bit better, but it's fine. We're not going to, we're not going to get too, too caught up in making sure that everything is perfect. Can you see as I'm going my triangles? Hopefully you can see that pattern. I'm attempting anyway. <laughs> I love this color combination. This is just so fresh and fun. Um, we are going to switch now and do the same thing on the other piece. Remember I said I'm going to make two cards. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm starting with the bigger one. And I'm going to create those triangles, rotating my stamp image so that it is not exactly the same in tiled. And I've got an empty spot here, so I'm just going to come back over and kind of fill that in a little bit. The irregular triangle, yes. <laughs> I don't remember all my geometry turns. Um, I, an isosceles, and it, it's definitely not an equal lateral triangle. I remember that one. That's got three, <laughs> three sides that are all the same. Um, 
Oh, Diane is saying if someone was just now starting off to stamp, she'd recommend a Christmas stamp set. That's a good idea. The Celebrate with Tags is a great one from the mini catalog because it's got, um, like you could make birthday tags and cards with that one too. That's a good one. Trees for Sale is a good one. Yes, Christmas Barn, all of those. Um, and I think the key to picking a good stamp set to start with, again, is a stamp set that has images and words. And so for me, something that is um, all occasion, you know, or, or multi occasion, right? So I can make cards for um, just, you know, more than just one holiday or more than just one occasion. By the way, I'm going about, I don't know, like, about halfway up, I guess I would say. Um, this is going to get covered with the strip of cardstock. So um, it's okay if it's not like even at the top with your design. Uh, now we're going to go back and we're going to add, oh, I love this Orchid Oasis. I feel like I haven't used this color a whole lot yet, but um, I, I need to get it out some more. Okay, I think that's good. <laughs> I kind of ended up with a straight line. And not so much triangles, but I, I think we did pretty good. All right, I'm going to leave the blue open, and we're going to stamp our sentiments on the next part. Oh, you know what? We should do some stamping, of course, on the inside pieces. These are going to be for the front, and I've got two pieces. Since we're using darker cardstock, I've got two pieces that are going to go on the inside. So I'm going to just do some simple stamping in the corner and do one of each image just to bring in the colors that we're using on the front. So just a, just a little splash of color on the inside. Okay, now I'm gonna close up the pink and the green slide our pieces in. We've got our inside, we've got our front, and then our words are going to go on these strips. I, did I tell you these? I think I did. Three quarter by three and three quarter inches. And so for this card, I'm using the sentiment, miles apart, but still in my heart. Oh, I really love this one because so many of my family and friends live far away from me. So this is such a great sentiment to be able to send some love to those family and friends who are miles apart. Went over the edge there. I'm just going to turn it over. There's two sides to every paper, right? Just trying to make sure I'm a little more careful. Perfect. Okay, these cards are really clean and simple today. If you want, you can dress up your cards more with ribbon and embellishments, but I'm going to keep them super clean and simple, exactly as they are on the flyer. Let's do some gluing together. My favorite adhesive is the stamp and seal. And this is sort of just like a basic two, um, like a basic two sided tape um, dispenser. So um, let's start with our inside pieces first because they're easy. I'm trying to decide as I'm doing this if I want to use stamp and dimensionals on the front. And I think. I think maybe I will. Adding Stampin' Dimensionals to your card um, is one way to just sort of like elevate it and add some dimensions. So I think I'm going to put the card front on with Stampin' Dimensionals because it's already so clean and simple. Okay, turning this over. Now these are going to go on the front and that's fold it over to the inside. I often assemble my cards flat like this, especially when I'm stamping a lot of cards, uh, because it's easier to stamp it on and get it straight when it's flat. And then when we're all done, then I fold it in half and, um, you know, get it ready for the envelope. Okay, so keeping those flat, let's go ahead and put these pieces on, and then we're going to add the, um, then we're gonna add the Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm gonna do a little bit um, I guess I'm going to do a lot. I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to do the whole thing with adhesive, but this little, this little pink part is just going to kind of highlight the sentiment. And so I'm adding that. I'll probably want to put some more adhesive on the back of that. And then the, this is going to come across the card and I want to make sure that I cover up so that there's no uh, part of the image coming above it. So I'm just going to cover up that and 
And then we have the nice clean white on top. Oh, I love that. Okay, next up we're gonna do the same thing with the other piece and add a little bit more adhesive to the pink strip. Oh, as I'm putting this on, I'm, I'm realizing like we're gonna have this little gap right there and this one gets covered up. So I'm just gonna stamp that image again in that empty spot um, so that it doesn't look so empty. So let's, yeah, there we go. And you don't even know that they're too close because the other one gets covered up so much. Okay, we're almost done. Next, these are going to go on with Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm gonna turn those over and get out my Stampin' Dimensionals. These are like, again, really basic cards, perfect for new stampers, but you know, I love to send clean and simple cards. And so these are totally cards that I would send as well. And I especially like clean and simple cards because they're flat. And so you can mail them with a regular stamp and you don't have to worry about extra postage. Um, so Stampin' Dimensionals is a really great, um, a really great thing for new stampers to get because it's a really an easy way to add some dimension and kind of step up your cards just a little bit. Can you tell the difference there? Like, I love how that's just popped up a little bit. Okay, there's our finished card. Let's get the other one on. These colors are making me so happy. You know, and I've realized it's been a while since we've done a color challenge and the Share and Connect group. I kind of got um, behind on posting all the winners. And so then I sort of just stopped, um, I stopped posting the color challenges and I, I'm sorry, we need to get back to that because color is definitely something that I'm inspired by. So I'll have to add a fourth color and maybe this will be part of our color challenge coming up in that um, Julie Stamping Spot Share and Connect group. Oh, I love it. Okay, this is our first card and here it is on the class plan. So you can see I just changed up the colors, but I pretty much did it exactly as it is on the um, the handout. So I will post the link to the PDF handout in the video description when I'm all done um, doing the live. I'll add all of that information as well as links to um, the materials that I use today, which is pretty much the Lovely You stamp set and the, um, the ink pads. I'll also include the link for the 24 hour stamp sale flyer that has all the pictures on it. It's six pages, literally 135 stamp sets that are on sale today. The other thing that started today is the weekly deals. There's new weekly deals every Thursday in September. And so the new ones started today and some of them go really perfectly with the stamps that are on sale. For example, Eden's Garden stamp set is on sale and you can get the coordinating dies for 20% off. The Botanical Layers stamp set is on sale and you can get the Lovely Layers vellum that goes with it for 15% off. So that's super awesome. And a lot of the other stuff is just great with any stamp set. So weekly deals are perfect to add on. Um, I don't think any of the weekly deals are just like, oh my God, I got to get that, you know? <laughs> so maybe they're not inspiring you to order, but it's great on a day like today when you're already getting some awesome deals on the stamp sets. You can just add on a few little discounted deals in the weekly deals. So make sure to check that out in the online store under specials. Okay, our next card is all pre-cut and ready to go. And again, I'll have these measurements for you in the video description and they will also be on the flyer. We're using Parakeet Party for our card base. So we've got five and a half by eight and a half pieces. And then the center piece here is three and one quarter by four and a half. I've got some coordinating pieces. The um, polished pink one is one inch by three and a half, one by three and a half. And then we've got the skinny orchid oasis. And this one is um, a half inch by three and a quarter. And then the white piece is um, da, 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 three quarters by three. 
inches. So half inch, three quarters, and one. We're gonna kind of layer them. But before we do that, we're gonna do some stamping on these card front pieces. So let's get out our grid paper again. And we're gonna use some of the same stamp images and some different ones from this great and lovely U stamp set. So I'm gonna use this greenery and we're going to do sort of like um, a diagonal a diagonal cascading <laughs> of the of the leaf image so again I'm kind of turning it to get some um, you know some different angles and we're just gonna go down the down the way here I think this one's turning out better <laughs> Oh, in fact, I think it's turning out so much better that I'm going to turn this one over and I'm going to try it again. So I, I think the key and what I didn't do with the first one is I started, I started up in the corner and then I went down here and then I tried to go in the middle. So I would say pick a direction and then <laughs> just keep going in that direction and alternate your your stamp as you go that looks better a nice even um even flow even diagonal down our card front piece um now the other pieces we're going to do kind of a similar technique where we're stamping color on color so for the polished pink piece i'm going to use the um the flower that we used on the first card And I'm going to just, this is a smaller space, but I'm still gonna kind of do my triangles, you know, sort of alternating going off the edges and really just filling in a lot of that space. I don't want a lot of spaces because this is so small. I wanna make sure that it's covered. So it's sort of like we're making our own designer paper because we're stamping that pattern. So on this card, it's just color on color. Polished pink on polished pink, parakeet party on parakeet party, and we're going to do the orchid, um, orchid oasis on orchid oasis. <laughs> uh, for this one, I'm going to try this little stamp. This is such a small piece, this half inch piece. So I'm just going to rotate. Oh, almost got that on me. Just going to rotate those stamps as I go to just get some different, different angles and different pieces of the image. Okay, we're looking good. Our last piece now, we're gonna do the same color and we're gonna stamp wildly grateful. The original card inspiration used um, the You're My Person um which is a nice sentiment as well i like wildly grateful i send a lot of thank you cards i made an extra one just in case i made a boo-boo <laughs> so i'll go ahead and stamp it i guess um okay now i do i do have to show you we're gonna see what we think about this but in the original card they used um a, a punch to, to punch um different ends like a I'm, I'm not using the right word. <laughs> um, it's a pick a punch, pick pick a punch, pick. Oh, isn't it pick a punch? Isn't that what it's called? This is a different one, I think, um, than the one that was originally included. No, oh, maybe this is the same one. I don't know. I don't use these punches very often, so we're gonna skip the punch because <laughs> we're keeping these really clean and simple. Um, so we're going to first, um, you know what, let's add the green to the card front with Stampin' Dimensionals, and then we'll add on our other pieces. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I should have brought a glass of water. I'm still recovering from COVID and feeling mostly better, but my, uh, my throat's just really had a tickle today, and um, just a little... A little cough it's like it's a dry cough it's not very productive but I feel fine except for this like cough that just won't won't give up this is going right in the center 
And so again, when I keep my card base flat to start with, I mean, I, I have it scored so I can see where that line is, but um, it helps me to have it straight because I'm not fighting with the bend of the card. Um, I've got to have some lunch after this. Have you guys already had lunch? Leave a comment. Let me know what you're eating for lunch today. Um, I'm thinking about a peanut butter sandwich. I love to have my peanut butter sandwich on toast. Oh, I, I just love the little crunch. And my very favorite jelly is a cherry preserve. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> it's just like, just the right amount of something sweet. Okay, so let's do our layering next. And we'll just do one card at a time. So let's take one of each piece and we'll save that. And we're going to do pink at the bottom and then um, the Orchid Oasis. And I'm kind of varying the, um, the widths here. And I think actually for our white piece, I'm gonna cut it a little bit shorter and then do a little banner tip. So the banner tip, you're gonna go right up the center and then cut from each corner to the center part. So that's a really great technique. If you don't have a lot of punches and tools, you can create your own little banner piece. And so I'll add that. I think I like that. I did debate on whether or not to cut an angled end on the the colored ones, but I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna leave it, and then I pick it up and I fuss with it some more. <laughs> ah, Julie, stop! I wanted to make it a little shallower of a banner. Okay, I did pretty good there. So in hindsight, I would just not cut as far up on my um, on my piece. Okay, so we're going to glue these down, and because they're going to hang over the edge of our green cardstock, which has Stampin' Dimensionals, we'll want to make sure that we have. Um, and I'm just going to put them right here and make sure I cover them both. Um, we'll make sure to um, have that cushion there. It's okay if it goes over the edge because then we're just going to, um, we'll, we'll cut it off. Okay, so these are going to go on and I'm staggering them and then um, I, I don't think I'm going to use more dimensionals. I think we already have dimensionals on the green so I'm just going to add this with with the um, um, the stamp and seal. All right, let's just trim these off now, our edges. I suppose I could have left the white one and had it go all the way across. Maybe I want to, you know, I do have an extra one here. <laughs> or I just move it, I just move it over. I like that, let's just move it over, perfect. Oh, I love this. Oh, you, I really wanna add some bling though. Ooh. I just want to add a little bling. <laughs> um, I know I talked about keeping them simple, but I feel like this is just begging for something, right? What do we have? Oh, 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 we have some of these, the in color matte decorative dots. Um, these are in the mini catalog, the seasonal sequins. I would probably use like the white ones. Oh, okay, leave a comment and let me know. Should we add an embellishment? I think you guys are embellishment friendly. Um, so I think you're gonna say yes. <laughs> so which embellishment do you think we should add? Um, we also have some polished dots, which I would probably use the clear ones there. Ooh, <gasps> the fun flowers have our colors as well. We could add the, um, the blue flowers and that's not really the same colors oh the butterflies <gasps> the butterflies are so good for everything aren't they i just i love them and they're flat too okay 
So I gave you a lot of options. Leave me some comments and let me know. We have the in color matte dots, the um, the brass butterflies, the white circle sequins, the clear polished dots, or the fun flower resin shapes. And since we're doing two different cards, I mean two cards that are the same, but since we're doing two cards, I will use different embellishments on each card. Um, and of course, if you're making this at home and you want, you can always leave yours blank with no embellishments or use something different. <laughs> I'm adding the dimensionals right now on the side um, and I'm kind of going a little bottom of center because I don't want those to be too high. I want them to kind of be in the bottom, the bottom kind of third. Then I'm going to add some, um, some tape adhesive on the back of these. Oops, let's take the backing off. Okay, I need a volunteer to count up your responses because <laughs> I'm not sure um I'm not sure I can scroll and read them all. So if somebody would not mind, um please take a look and give a quick count to the answers for me. That would be much appreciated. I'm going to do a little trim off this end because it's so big and then a shallow cut. So about just a quarter inch up and then um, coming over from the edges. Love it. Let's add that to our card. And I want to make sure I'm going all the way over to the edge. There we go. And now we're just going to turn it around and cut off those, those ends. That's perfect. Oh my gosh. I see all your votes, you guys. <laughs> butterflies and flowers, butterflies. The, um, yeah, the flowers. That's another, um, good one. The butterfly looks like brass butterflies and the flowers are getting most of the, a lot of the butterflies. Um, okay. I think give me all the bling. Yes. <laughs> um, it looks like I'm seeing mostly the brass butterflies and the flowers. So those are what we're going to use, but the other ones would be really great options as well. So if you have those at home and you don't have the brass butterflies or the flowers, then I think you would, um, you would have a, a lovely time embellishing with those those options. Okay. We always do odd numbers when we do our embellishments, unless I'm feeling like it just needs to, and then we don't, <laughs> but then you yell at me. So I'm going to do, um, three on the bottom and one on the top. And I always kind of stumble with the placement of those three. I think I like that though, huh? Um, oh, love it. And then we're going to do, um, we're going to do the butterflies and I'm going to do, uh, oh, I kind of like to <laughs> butterflies fly. And so I'm thinking all three up on this one. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness. I don't know which one I like better. They're both so fabulous. All right. Well, we tried to keep it clean and simple, but we added something to them because we just could not help ourselves. <laughs> Two clean and simple cards using the lovely you stamp set. This stamp set is on sale today, 15% off along with 134 other stamps. Thursday, September 15th only. You can go shopping in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. Use host code DKKB3XXP so that you can get my free bonus project kit for September. I'll include those links as well as the link to the flyer and the PDF handout 
So if you would like to recreate these cards at home, um, you'll have all the measurements and the photos. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Tell me which card you like better. Um, I know it's always hard <laughs> to, to choose one favorite, but are you, do you like more the white with all the colors on it or more like the, um, the solid colors and the, the big bright? Leave a comment. Let me know this or that. Which of these cards do you prefer? Thanks for tuning in and watching. Watching. Make sure to come back tonight for Thursday Night Stamp Therapy on Facebook at 7, 10 p.m. Central Time. Have a great afternoon. See you soon.